Hey, good Thursday evening. Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I want to update you on what we are going to see over the next couple days. Of course, it's spring. We should be topping out near 70. We didn't see that most of this week, but today, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So what's going on? We're going to have more changes rolling in, which kind of stinks, especially heading into the weekend. We do have some good news and we have some bad news. Let's start with the good news. Good news here is our storm system rolling through. It's a little weaker, a little farther south. That means a little less moisture. Uh, it looks like more sleet than snow. One inch of sleet is equivalent to five inches of snow. So if we got a half an inch of sleet, it would be the same as two, two and a half inches of snow. I think we're going to have a little bit more sleet. So the amounts are going to be a little bit less, which is always great. Sorry, I got an itch. Um, the bad news is we have a freeze warning. Temperatures are going to drop well below freezing upper teens to near 20. Usually this time of year will drop um, below freezing uh, for a couple hours, but this is going to be like 12 to 15 hours, which of course means a very hard freeze. So any of the trees that are budding now, uh, we could lose some of those. I'm a little worried about my Japanese maple, also any plants. So freeze morning for us tomorrow night. Let's go through time and we'll step through this. Tonight, just clouds increase. Here's 4.30 in the morning. Some light showers, even some thunderstorms, especially in our southern counties, will start to increase as we work through the morning hours. Temperatures will start in the lower 50s, will drop throughout the afternoon. I think by evening, most of us will be sitting near freezing. So light rain showers, and then here 7 p.m., you can see light sleep picking up in the northern half of the region. That kind of drops south and east. So here's midnight. We still have light sleet in our southern county snow in our northern counties and then the backside, the upper level wave will rotate through late Friday night into Saturday morning giving us snow now in the southern counties. This is going to be light. The ground is warm uh, so I don't think we're going to have a lot of issues on the roadways but we could have some accumulations across the region. But look at the temperatures. We're in Saturday morning lower 20s. We just don't even warm up that much during the afternoon. How much rain are we going to get? Southern counties could pick up one to two inches with some scattered thunderstorms tomorrow morning, but I think most of us will be in that quarter to uh, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Let's look at our sleet and snow. I think our northern counties will see a little pocket where it's mainly going to be snow, one, maybe two inches. Here in the white, so this is Chanute, Parsons, Pittsburgh, uh, most of Joplin over towards Springfield, an inch of sleet and snow. If it's more snow, we could see some isolated two inch amounts. Our southern counties with that back band rolling through tomorrow night, we could see uh, a little bit more snow. So that's why I have them in the one to two inch category, which we usually don't get sleet and snow in the month of April. So 52 and dropping tomorrow down to 20 tomorrow night, Saturday kind of just nasty, only 42. Back to 50 on Sunday. Could see a few afternoon showers. And then Monday looks good. Tuesday looks good. Wednesday looks great. 80 tomorrow or next Thursday with some showers and thunderstorms. So a big switch, uh, which is very common in this part of the country. Have a great evening. I'll keep you updated.